Hello class, I wanted to create a video to help with problems number 9 and 10 uh, from your uh, MyLab exam. So it looks like for question 9 we have to create a uh, frequency and relative frequency distribution and then come up with uh, some types of uh, bar charts and a pie chart. So let's open this data up into StatCrunch and um, you know, to figure out the frequency, we could actually count by hand the number of down and count by hand the number of up, or we can use stat crunch. Okay, if I were to press stat tables frequency, uh, my data start on the variable one. I want to see fr frequency and relative frequency data. So it looks like there are 14 downs. So if I were to count up all the downs, it'd be 14. If I were to count up all the ups, that'd be 15 and one no change, okay? And I can quickly see that if I were to sort the column, you'll see there's one no change from one to 14 is the number of downs and so on. So let's type this data into these two boxes here, okay? Uh, let's see here. So down was 14, no change was one, up was 15, and for relative frequency, we had to go three decimal places, um, and remember, when we add up the relative frequency, it should total 100.5, uh, right? So if I were to total these values, we should end up with 1, because uh, it should be 100%. Uh, so again, here's my data. I just transferred it over. And now let's take a look at the charts. Um, for part C, okay, so uh, my down should be slightly lower than my up. Right, down is 14, up is 15. So if this line here represents 15, that could be 14 and 15. Uh, so letter A is a possibility. And really, I think that's probably going to be it, right? Remember, this middle line here represents 15. I know it's really tight, um, but this looks like that could be 14, 15, and 1. Um, yeah, I think I think I want to go that route, right? Because this middle bar is five. Uh, so I feel like this would be too great for one. So I'm going to select choice A. And then for our relative frequency, it should really look the same in terms of height. So remember, down was 0.46, up was 0.5. So look for 0.5 would be this bar here. Uh, but we also need 0.46, so this is no good. Um, this could be it, 0.46 and 0.5. And then what was our no change? Our no change was 0 0.033. Um, so that would be way at the bottom. So let's just take one more peek. I think choice B is our, our wait a minute, 0.46. So choice B is not it, right? It has to be greater than this 0.4. Choice D to me looks like it could be the winner. Okay, and then for the pie charts, um, it should be 46%, 50%. So let's see what we have, 46%, 50%, choice A, right? 46.7, 50, and 0.33, right? Point zero. If I move the decimal two places, one, two, that's 3.3%, 3 .3%. one, two, 46%, 46.7, and so on. This looks good. Let's check our answer. All right, let's move on to number 10. All right, number 10, again, we're given some data, the number of potholes, it's 35 selected potholes we're looking at. Again, we're going to do a frequency um, distribution and a relative frequency distribution. So I click on the little box, I open in StatCrunch, and I press Stat Tables Frequency, Number of Potholes, and I want to see frequency and relative frequency, so I press Compute. Here is my data for one through seven potholes. So let's just copy this in. So I've copied the frequency into my frequency distribution, and I copied my relative frequency, rounded to three decimal places, into my relative frequency distribution. Uh, what else do we have? Now it says, all right, uh, what percentage of the highway 
stretches had three potholes, so that would be this 0 0.171. So to make it a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right, one, two, and add a percent sign, and then five or more. So I need to add up these three values. So I can do something like uh, 0.057 plus 0 0.114 plus 0 0.086. Just double checking, I did that, that correctly. I press enter. And again, you have to move the decimal two places to the right. So I have 25.7. We check our answer and we get 100%. Okay, so I hope that helps for questions uh, nine and 10. Thank you for watching.